I am not against allowing Renaissance time to produce an acceptable private package, but both Goodman Marx and Goodman and York predicted failure. So I am concerned about unsolved problems. <coughs> Renaissance hasn't raised the private funds needed, and their similar project in Nashua, New Hampshire couldn't either. So they are now seeking subsidized housing for Nashua. Private investors are interested in building in Bristol, just not as a part of Depot Square. Why not? First it was no low income housing. So now they say workforce housing, including subsidized housing. The BDDC motion on 1014 states obtaining all means of funding to construct the first building on Depot Square. <coughs> all means, including subsidized housing. Now it's the Connecticut City and Town Development Act funds. Do I hear no eminent domain to give private property to wealthier developers? What if the 18 to 20 additional buildings can't get private funding? Get the private funding first, then spend on infrastructure and the rest. We don't know if any buildings are going up, or how many, or where, or when. Taxpayer limits, please. No blank check. If Bristol pays for the infrastructure, who owns the property? Who pays for maintenance, liability, policing, lighting, snow? Total cost for building B was estimated at 24 million, 22 for the building, two for infrastructure. Bristol will pay 2 million, private funds 2 million, and a mortgage loan 12.5 million. Where's that big private investment we heard so much about? <coughs> By the way, 2 plus 2 plus 12.5 isn't 24. There's a 7.5 million gap. Common core math? Experts predicted the plan would fail. Now we hear about fast-track transportation. Are we helping low-income people from Hartford, New Britain, and Waterbury at the expense of Bristol taxpayers? Oh, we need subsidized housing because you didn't give us all the buildings. Like Nashua, New Hampshire. Bait, then switch. Solve the problems before spending millions. No blank check. Please get it right. Then give the citizens a binding vote. Thank you. Thank you.